Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and this video is going to show you how to create a paint storage solution for your craft paint. Um, this is going to be designed for your standard two ounce bottle of craft paint. Uh, smaller bottles will fit in, but some of the other shape bottles like this one, uh, you have to use a larger piece of PVC, but you can accomplish the same thing with a uh, larger PVC. Um, I will uh, probably create another video showing you some of the larger bottles that are out there and what size PVC to use with them or I'll add it to the uh, comments uh, in my YouTube video and my website. Um, I have a couple different kinds of PVC here. This is electrical conduit and this is plumbing PVC, Schedule 40 PVC. Uh, it's inch and a quarter. They're both inch and a quarter but I have found that the white in the plumbing section of the big box home improvement stores, it's just a little bit bigger. And for example, here's a little bit larger bottle of paint, not by much, it won't fit in the electrical conduit, but it will fit into the plumbing uh, inch and a quarter PVC. Um, I actually take a bottle that is a little bit larger of the standard size and uh, take it with me to the big box store because even some of these can be a little bit snug. Um, I buy this in a 10 foot section and this uh, makes about 40 pieces when you cut it down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a quick part of the video showing me cut this down with my chop saw. I wanted to show you real fast um, me cutting a couple of pieces on the chop saw. And you'll notice I have all the things that I use when I'm cutting down PVC pipe. I have my safety gloves, eye protection, and for cutting PVC, I have the garage door open, and I also still wear a dust mask as well. So I'm gonna put all these on, and I'm going to cut a couple of pieces down here for you to give you an idea on how I do it. Um, I do have one that's already cut down, and I actually, once I got the size that I wanted, um, let me get a tape measure real quick and let you know that I decided to cut these down to uh, just about uh, two and three quarter, maybe just a little bit longer than two and three quarter inches long. Uh, that's a good length for me. Uh, you can have enough of the paint bottle sticking out. I push my stand all the way up against the wall and I want a little bit of the paint bottle sticking out so that I can uh, uh, easily get it out of there and see the color and um, anyway when I figure out my length and I cut a piece down I marked a line on my chop so I have a few different lines on here when I've cut different things down but um, if I forget which line is for this I just simply lay it down on here bring the blade down I can see which line it is, so I know where to line up. It's the red line that I have right here. So let me go ahead and get on my dust mask. I probably sound a little bit different now, but you really don't want to breathe this stuff in. You want good ventilation and uh, dust mask or respirator is a good idea. Okay, here we go. And this will give you an idea if it's something you're comfortable doing or maybe you have a family member or a neighbor or a friend that could uh that has a chop saw that would be comfortable doing this for you and it is a bit messy there is a kind of a pvc sawdust stuff and i will take a shop back i happen to have one right here I usually do that when I'm when I'm all done cutting this down. I just wanted to show you real fast as far as I just put it uh, this inside the, the hose of the shop back and hold on to it and it sucks all the uh, PVC sawdust stuffed out of there. So anyway, that's just a quick little uh, little video to show you when I'm actually cutting down the PVC. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to completing the rest of the stand. Uh, if you aren't comfortable with a chop saw, hopefully you know somebody that has one. 
Um, you know, as far as it, it's much quicker than the, the pipe cutters you can find at the, the big box stores. Those take more hand strength and more time and they're uh, a lot more uh, labor intensive, I think, than using the chop saw. But the chop saw is, uh, it's a little, you gotta be more careful. Definitely use eye protection. And uh, um, anyways, I'll be showing a little bit of that video. So let's get to putting this together and show you how I did that. Um, the tape measure here, you wanna, figure out how much space you want to take up because you can really customize this to whatever shape you want to. Um, I already have a partial paint storage I made out of this electrical conduit and in fact this I've already glued together with this PVC glue and just to show you it is it's really strong. I mean it's it's really strong so um, and it dries pretty darn quick which is a big bonus I think but um, I needed another section that was about a little less than a foot long and I measured that out, and that was seven sections of PVC. And as I don't want these to, to possibly roll around when I glue them together, I wanted to find something that would just hold them in place. They're, these are just a couple of empty boxes I got um, when I got some deliveries to my house here. And um, I'm down in my garage right now. This is my garage door. But if you have a wall, that will work just fine. If you want to protect the surface uh, that you're working on, you might want to put a piece of plastic down or something that's disposable. Uh, this is just a work table. I'm not worried if I get uh, a little bit of glue on there. And so it's pretty straightforward, um, but I also do recommend putting on some rubber gloves here or some sort of, of protection against this PVC. You also do want to have a good ventilation when you're working with this stuff. It does uh, have a kind of a strong smell. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this paint out of the way. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just glue this strip together here. And I'm trying to figure out, I guess I'll figure out as I go along here, if I'm gonna continue once I stack that one to continue upward or I might let this dry and then move out of the way and build several of these and then just glue them together. But I guess we'll find out where I'm gonna go as we go along here. Um, I've used this before. There's a little bit of a swab on here. I hope that this is in frame because I am kind of in front of the camera, so I'm not sure what is actually being shot right now. Uh, it's pretty simple. You don't need a ton of this PVC glue on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and swipe on one side. Not a lot of it there. And then you want to go ahead and just push that against the one right next to it. And I'm going to go ahead and it can get a little bit messy, so you want to make sure you don't do this where there's here. You have anything that you're worried about getting possibly glue on it, and you want to make sure the front is fairly flush here. I just hold it for a couple of seconds, and then as long as you don't bump it, it should be totally fine. And I'm just going to go along with the next piece, and you don't need a lot of glue on here. Just one swipe when you're going along this first level. And you can see how fast this goes. Um, I know I mentioned it once, but this is one and one quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. You can find in the plumbing section of your big box home improvement stores. And you can also find this PVC glue as well. And here is I'm using Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue PVC Pipe Cement. And I'll see if I can find this online as well. And I can send you a, uh, add a link on my website if you can buy it online. Otherwise, your big box home improvement stores will, will offer that. And now, it's actually not even rolling away now, but these boxes are here if you're gonna be building up. Um, otherwise, 
And if you try to glue that on there, it's going to fall off. So you don't need to have really any weight in there, just something flat. As you can see there, you can then you can you can balance it on there. I haven't even glued it yet, and it's staying in place. And that's all the more it needs to stay in place for that glue to to grab a hold of. Uh, yeah, it's already it's already starting to to grab a hold. It doesn't take very long to dry, so you don't want to mess around once you get the glue going on there. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to do a second row. And for this first piece, I didn't need that much glue on there. I tend to put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure this box holds this right where I want it. And now I got the top of these things. When you do use a chop saw, it is pretty messy. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, PVC sawdust. You definitely wanna have, have good ventilation. I would use uh, some sort of a dust mask or respirator when you're cutting it. Um, it's not healthy to breathe this stuff in, so make sure you have good air ventilation. Uh, and also, it does, it's quite a bit of mess on here, so I take my shop vac and I vacuum these things off before I put them in the tub, so there's a whole bunch of extra uh, PVC sawdust, I guess, if you want to call it, um, getting all over the place and making a big mess. So now I actually have to put two swipes of glue, one that's going to attach here and one that's going to attach right here on this uh, this piece over here so let me go ahead and and it has to be about 45 degrees in other words um you want to make sure that if this is going to go down you want to make sure that you have glue on the proper side to attach so it's almost like it's six o'clock and three o'clock or south and east if you're looking at a clock or a compass and then i kind of slide just a little bit i make sure that they're flush with, with each other and it's already staying in place just like that um i didn't do any kind of prep as far as wiping out the pvc with rubbing alcohol or anything like that i just make sure there's not any chunks of dirt or anything like that on there um so now i want to go ahead if i wipe here. This is going to be the bottom and I'm going to want to put it on this side here. If I put it on the other side then it won't make contact with the PVC that I want it to. So make sure that you put glue on the proper sides um, ahead of actually putting it on there and finding out you didn't do it quite right because the glue does dry fast. And so there's the bottom. I'm gonna put any more, see I almost, oh, and I just got a drip right there and it's a good thing I'm not too worried about that. And I got some on my hand, so it's a good thing I'm wearing gloves. And I do also have some paper towels so I can do a, quick wipe up off my glove and off the table and just a few more pieces of all this second row all made up and then I'm going to go ahead and pause this and and finish up this section that I want to make um, to fill in to store more of my paint and you'll see the the finished product. But I might as well do these next two sections. There we go. One more to go. And yeah, this stuff is kind of strong smelling. You want to make sure you have, you know, it wouldn't hurt to wear a respirator when you're using this stuff. Um, Especially if you don't have good air circulation, but I would have I would make sure you have good ventilation And I do not I didn't I ended up kind of missing as far as making it space properly so I kind of Set it down and rolled it to make sure there was glue on the contacting areas of the PVC And 
this is actually, it won't take very long to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And when we uh, come back through uh, the magic of, of editing, you'll see this thing I'll put together as far as, as much as I need to make for this uh, add-on section. Earlier in this video, I was telling you about using a couple of boxes to keep everything propped up. Well, since I've actually only made a couple of these PVC paint storage, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, I didn't realize until doing this one that you really don't even need anything to hold these up if you just hold the PVC in place for just a few seconds. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate. I found if I put one swipe, Turn to the left, about a quarter turn, another little bit. And then I kind of slide this around, make sure it's flush here and here. And as you can see, it's not rolling away at all. You don't want to have to push very hard down or to the side either. You just rest it against the, the PVC next to it and let me go ahead and do another one here, and it just holds it in place. This PVC glue dries that fast. And I just like to kind of swivel it a little bit just to help smear the glue over more surface area so there's more glue to PVC uh, coverage. I know earlier I was trying to figure out which direction to put the glue, but now I the way I'm doing this right now, I just and I'm just feeling here and feeling here, and as long as it's close, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, and it's holding it in place very well. Um, one more piece here. And you can see it just holds it together pretty much instantly. So, um, you don't really have to even worry about any kind of a bookend type situation to hold this thing in place because the glue itself does. And as long as you're not pushing on it really hard, um, it should be totally fine by just uh, just putting it together freestanding and just make sure that all the area around uh, what you're building this is an area that you can either clean up or you don't care if it gets dirty, don't care if it gets glue on it. There is a little bit of a stain from the glue from when I started painting this. Uh, you kind of drip down uh, onto the table, but this is just a work table, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, it doesn't affect the performance, it's not sticky at all. I wiped it up with paper towel a little bit, and, and that was good enough. Uh, so anyways, it's kind of an update on less things that you need to build this thing, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish drying, and I'll uh, put it next to my other piece here, and uh, I'll videotape that part as well. Well, we're up here now in my art room, and as you can see, here is the piece that I had put together in this video, and I've already put paint in here, and you can also see my existing uh, area that I had created. Um, I also used some inch and a half PVC, and they're a little bit shorter because the paint bottle's a little bit shorter, and I made another stand for uh, a different size uh, bottle of paint. So you can see you can actually have it up this way or down this way. You can add to it later on if you want to. I also wanted to show you as far as how strong this is, um, this glue. This is full of paint and I'm shaking it around pretty good and it's not coming apart. This is pretty darn sturdy. Um, also, this is really ideal to have against a wall. It is open-ended on both sides. You can see here's the other side. So if you decide you wanted to turn it around, you can do so. Um, if you decide you wanted to go ahead and, and rotate it, you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and then you can see kind of right now if it's all different, you know, this is too far in. You can't get this, this paint out because it's flush. Well, if you're against the wall, let me go ahead and push this against the wall. It fixes all that. It sticks out far enough to where you can easily get the paint out. But you can still see the color. It's not going to fall out of there. Um, you can add more of these pieces together. You can uh, custom make them so they can go around like a, if you have a window in your room and you don't want to block any of that out, um, outdoor lighting, you can go ahead and, and make this in a way that it will go around the, the, um, the window and leave it exposed. 
So uh, I hope this video has helped you out in uh, this uh, paint solution. I also have a piece of a uh, foam board I put up on top of this um, area to uh, stack more things on there. The top of this is not completely flat, so um, smaller things you can't stack up there very easily. But a piece of foam board, a piece of cardboard, a piece of plywood, uh, lots of different things that you can cut down and put on top so you have a shelf on top to even expand your storage and organization that much more. I hope you've liked this video, and until next time, rock on.